If television is an illusion today, it's going to be an even bigger illusion tomorrow. The cinema is still the most spectacular purveyor of visual trickery. These scenes were made by combining a lot of individual components on one piece of film. It's a technique which relies on a computer to precisely control the movements of the camera, which must be repeatable with 100% accuracy, so that all the separate elements of one shot fit together. This satellite will be part of a shot for a feature film called 2084, a deceptively simple shot of a satellite orbiting a planet that actually took three days to shoot. It was done like this. First the satellite is shot on its own using colour film. The camera moves slowly towards and under the model, making the satellite appear to be flying towards us and out of the picture. Putting the background planet on is a two-stage process. First the camera is loaded with black and white film and the shot is repeated. Only this time the model is backlit to produce a silhouette because what they're making is a mat or mask which will exactly match the movement of the satellite on the colour film. Then the planet is added. For the planet's surface they use actual NASA satellite pictures projected onto a curved screen. And this time the camera is loaded with two strips of film. The undeveloped colour film of the satellite and in front of it the black and white mask. The mask exactly covers the satellite to stop the planet from being superimposed over it. So we're ready to shoot. Again, the camera's driven through exactly the same movements as before, while at the same time the projectors are slowly turned by the computer to give the planet an appearance of rotation. In this print of the finished film, the final shot may only make a brief appearance, but without the sophistication of this computer control system, the satellite would look a lot more like the three-foot model it actually is. <laughs>